Um, we weren't really sure what to expect when we got here. Obviously, people have been here before, and uh, you've, you've seen videos where people have been in here and, and told me there's a couple of things that we could potentially expect. We didn't expect anything, well, anything like what we got. What is interesting, at one point, Simon heard a female voice, which is different to what I've been hearing. What, did you, what, what was it, man? Was it a man's voice? F female voice, that, right? that was female. Because I've been hearing a male voice. And while we're still stood here now, my ears are trying to tune in. Beautiful birds and the, the area is so nice and pretty. But I think... It's all good. But the icing on the cake has definitely got to the bit where we're finishing off. And yeah, we're feeling a bit uneasy with things that have been going on, the pot that moved. But it's when it, this occurred, of when I think, well I did, I got a scratch. Endless amounts of shuffling and, um, and walking and to top it off you're being scratched as we're being as we're signing off is yeah but I don't remember scratching myself catching myself anywhere else my clothes you're aren't ripped anything. or anything so yeah this potentially could be our first teapot five. Oh my god this place is a huge mill huge mill that we managed to find when we got here and it's in Middleton um, there's not much information about it online and it's been left abandoned but we're going to make our way in, which is relatively easy. Simon's worried about the houses behind there. <laughs> you alright? I mean, it's hot. The abandoned Warwick Mill in Middleton. This is a Grade 2 listed building that was built in 1907 by G. Stott of J. Stott and Sons, a mill that produced clothing with names of Townley Knitting, part of H. R. Howard and Sons. Six floors of an industrial machine. I'll tell you what, though, just wait until you see part of the engine room, yeah. and I believe it's the mechanism that runs up. Oh, the chair? Yeah. Okay. Just talk. We're going to change back. Oh, Jesus. Fuck off. Are you recording? Yeah. I got that. I know what that was. That was in this room. That's these. That's them. With plastic. That was With this. Containers. That was this. That was a plastic container kit. That was it. That was a. That was it. Hasn't been moaning. Apparently, no matter what time of day or night, stuff happens. Shadow figures, children, things move. That was clearly one of these pots being shifted. Yeah, that was. Yeah, no doubt. What that was. Do you know, we've been, I don't the video's been out yet, but we've done the police station, we had batshit crazy stuff happening there. And we've not been here this long, and there's stuff happening here. Do that again. There was a light there. On the roof. In the corner. Well, I've got it on the ceiling there. How was it recording, Simon was? Uh, yeah, we heard we both reacted. Can you move one of these again? Is this place going to be a classic where things happen when you least expect it, you're not calling out? That was definitely a pot. That was a pot. So vast. It's cavernous. 
that even my big lie can't reach the bottom of these rooms. There'll be more light as we go upstairs. But having to allow this light to see where I'm going, it's that dark. If this carries on with the darkness, although I don't think it does, I might put the night vision. I don't know where to go. That was definitely one of those pots. Yeah, right behind us. You were looking at a pot. Well, I, I, I knocked one up to see what it was, but yeah, it moved. See, I've got this bloody light on. And I can't see. No. Never mind. Interesting. Even my infrared's struggling. Hey? Even my infrared's struggling a little bit, eh? See, I'm shining my torch down there. I can't see bugger at all. No. More of um, a suppressive sound. Yeah. You can't do much filming in this <laughs> this uh, environment because it's just black. Yeah. But I'm sure we go on the next level. There's there's daylight. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. Um. Which pot was it you were looking at? Oh, uh, it did. Right. It was thanks to me. Was your neck touched there? It was opposite side to me, but yeah. Because I just felt something very faint on the back of my neck there. When you said something touched your neck. Incidentally odd. Right, so let's do the stairs. How does that end up like that? Right. Right, so staircase goes up. This should be another floor. Whoa! Oh, crikey! That's a big room. That is huge. <laughs> so technically, <laughs> if the last sh the left shaft, the left what? The left shaft was over there. Yeah. That's where we couldn't get in. Yeah. There's a door there. Now I know from another video where they had activity. You see what you mean by the floor being soft? That was soft. Yeah. Um, I might recognise what's on the floor. It like a door or some sort of material where they were getting activity and you see you sort of see the mechanism that used to run through the building itself right. yeah this floor is soft the building today still holds part of the old engine house as the looms and the power and the lifts were all provided by the local stream that went past many horsepower to provide many a garment there's another stairway there. Yeah, this. So this gives you an idea of how big the building actually is, doesn't it? Yeah. It's all sectioned off downstairs. What are them ghosts? Is that there? Does that go outside? When those ghost investors came, probably with Esca came, they navigated this in the dark. This might have been it. This is freaky enough. This might have been where they were. Oh, holy, um, um, he did the, um, uh, yeah, I'm not, um, you're we've not... got to do it, bro, I, uh, I don't know, shit.
Fucking pigeons. I'll let you, um, oh my fucking god. I'll go down. But no. A lot of the steps are missing there. Ace. And a bell. That one there. Steps are missing on there as well. They've rusted through. Oh god. That's like my worst nightmare. So we'll have to put a door there so you can get you up and down. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, you can film me. You are a brave, brave well, you, you can use your camera if you want. Yeah. Yeah. You are These steps. These steps are beautiful steps. Dude. <laughs> oh, please be careful. Oh, well. Please be careful. Oh, well. I'll be fine. I'm sorry, I'm too cheap and shit to go up. <laughs> this is ace. I'm filled with the sagacity. Look at this f***ing madman. Look, look, look at this. Look, before you try and Telephone. Look at this. Yeah, these... These are sound. You are. Stop it! Scary shit out of me. Yeah. Go on, I'm Yeah, I'm alright. Oh my god. Oh, these ones are split. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're pretty good at me, man. Oh! Oh. I just want to get a shot. Wow, look at this wheel. The building lies empty today and derelict. Projects and concerns have come and gone like a fireplace showroom. Oh, look at the lift workings. Planning permission was put in place to create it into a 10 floor apartment. A refurbishment of Middleton's Grade 2 listed building to bring the old building back into life. That is mint. So we got one, two, three, is that four, five, six, six floors. What is interesting as well, I love this, they're all bricked up over there. For whatever reason that may be, but these workings, if it was run by the water as the mill. Simon? Yeah, oh. <laughs> if it was run like for the water for the mill, this would have been where the engine, technically the engine house was. Yeah. All these pulleys, because the weight of these pulleys. See, I still want to go up. Yeah, I don't trust that stairs. Look at this. Don't. I love this. It's like being a kid again. <laughs> Look at that, there he is. Hello! With plans to create a central atrium, which will open up the mill and provide light and space in a high quality environment for the residents to socialise. External areas and plans to be opened up for commercial and food and drink uses, and new open spaces for the public. Oh, the willies. You're giving me the willies, that's right. Demolition will take place of the old London house to bring forward a new quality high residential development integrated inside the old mill. But as it stands, the mill looks aged, abandoned and lost. Yearning. So you wanna go down? For this development yeah. Yeah. to come true. Oh, there's a split there's step. Split in that one, yeah. I don't know how. You haven't got far to fall. <laughs> Thanks. It's all right. <laughs> that was loud than I anticipated. It looks all right. Right, so in the just in the previous footage now, we saw the big lift shaft uh, where the big drops are. Um, but it looks like the lift door is open, 
which Simon's not going to like. But I am, because that means I get to look over a big drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's slippy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, no, that's not fun. That's not fun. We don't like that. Look at the weights. So we're on, so we've got another one, two, three floors. Three floors. I say, so what I will do is, if I can, oh, I'll close it. If someone comes here at night, they might have a fright. Yeah, see it. The thing is, if they want to get through it, they will. Focus on me. Are you being brave? I was brave. I was brave. I didn't go much further than the doorway, but I was brave. <laughs> I'd quite happily climb up. I know you would. But... You f***ing nuts. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to leave you behind. Oh, no. That's a hell of a fall. Oh, we're three stories up. Now, three? So. Yeah. Three to go, by the looks of it. Yeah. More toilets. Oh, stairs. Ooh. Stairs. Where's that go? Hello, pigeon. Ew. Lovely. What the hell? Storage. Oh, that's a big toilet block. In here, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll just rely on your infrared. Um, night vision. Night vision. Deal. Do it. So we call forward any spirits in this building that wish to communicate with us. We come here with open minds. And open hearts. And open hearts. Give us some sort of sign that you're here. Can you make some kind of noise, some kind of tap? Can you speak to us? Can you touch us? Maybe give us a whistle, just something. See, we have activity downstairs. The pot moving and stuff like that. Yeah. Are you following us? Can you do something in this room? Oh, I think we're at the top now. Uh, all the floors basically, as you expect, will kind of look the same. There's people on that building at the top. Is there? Yeah. You see him there. Oh, I, uh, I was going to sneak here just to get a shot out of the window here. Yeah. So my quest is to see if I can get on the roof. I want to get on the roof. So does Simon. He's been badgering <laughs> me all this time. Oh, I'm not driving. Let's get on the roof. Get on the roof. Another hole. This is the top of that staircase I want you to climb, and you won't let me. <laughs> it goes up, mate. Oh, yeah. Come and stand here, look at this. I'm going up. You're going up? Yeah, I'm going up. These are sound. Just further to fall. Yeah. At least you'll leave me screen for longer. It's got the old uh, lights there for uh, the old lampshades. Oh, like 50s. What oh. well, goes up? Oh, Seems alright. So, purely for, for educational reasons, I want to show you the wheel. They'd be turned by belts. 
I don't think chains uh, and it prop shaft whatever you want to call it if you now comment below straight through into the rooms where we are to turn the machines the horsepower that came out of these buggers phenomenal how do you do that Yeah, you can see that there, yeah, the mechanism. You actually can see all the, um, well, it used to be affixed to the post. Yeah, when you watch uh, programs on TV about Victoria and you see the vast floor space. It was more efficient for them, uh, money-wise, to go up rather than across. It, these mills were built for a reason, weren't they? And that's where the prop, where it was called, the main drive for this floor coming through and this is six of them so the water because there's no there's no stack and there's no boiler so it must be water yeah. originally and that's what have been used to to make garments or whatever they used here it's just i love it it's amazing i love it it's absolutely amazing but we still need to find a way up to the top okay. the only thing i can think of is that stairwell over here in fact simon mm -hmm. That looks like probably the grease that's poured down over the years. It might well be, you might actually look at it. Yeah. Look at that. Right. Right, let's go and find a way up to the top. Because Simon wants oh, to sunbathe. Right, put this stairwell over here. Right. So there's that tower, isn't there? Yeah, yes. Yes, we found oh, yeah, a way to the top. And obviously being a bit oh. a bit scared of heights. I'm not. I am so climbing that. So I'm going to climb it, turn the phone back on when I get up there. You're filming in there. I'll tell you where you're going. This is brilliant. He's, um, he's a brave boy. I'm not so brave. Not when it comes to heights anyway. What do you say, mate? Are you, uh, you on the roof? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's all right. Is it all right up there? You know, I can do it. No. <laughs> right, I'll be quick as boss. <laughs> Entry. Uh, loads of loft space which looks a bit dodgy so we've got oh, maybe that was used for mobile telephones it's all been gutted out and uh yeah hang on oh dear so yeah he's doing that we're gonna head down again in a minute and uh, see what we can find um, downstairs we've not had a, I think it's a bit odd this one because a lot of it's big it's open to the elements the wind's blowing through so um, we can't really get much in the way of paranormal here we had a lot of activity down where we started on the bottom floor so we're gonna head down and uh, do an investigation down there and see what what happens uh, in the bottom so. Oh yes, the roof. This, sorry about the wind, if you've got the wind on here. This up here would be epic for filming lightning in a storm. So I must remember, I must remember this place if I'm storm chasing. Check the channel out, link in the description area down below. Loads of uh, storm chasing videos. This would definitely be a good spot to get some lightning action. And look at this beautiful building. Old mobile phone mast there, so that's what all that business was about. Not you needed now. Well, this is epic. Right. I suppose I better go back now and uh, reassure Simon. You're not one for the heights. No, I say that's the one thing I draw the line at is heights. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll fly on a plane. I'll do anything like that, but scaling something like that. No, be all right. I'll pass. <laughs> and the uh, the honest thing is, he's right. I shouldn't really be scaling stuff like that. But it's fun. <laughs> like well, could have gone higher. There's two more bits. Well, could have gone higher. But I don't want you uh, carrying my body downstairs. No. <laughs> We're six floors up. Right, so the plan of action. Uh, we're going to go back down to where we had the first bit of activity. Yeah. Just 
store. Um, I'm sure it's a Townley knitting. I'm sure I've got my grandma's old woolen blanket that I use in the winter. And I'm sure that's Townley. I had a picture of a lamb on. Most of these are good to my health. If we move, I bet we hear a voice again. What's your thoughts, boss? This place is weird. Really weird. I don't know what to make of it. Shall we walk back to where we originally came in? Yeah, I think we we'll back to Make our way. Adjust the camera first before you start filming, Gordon. Terrible. So we'll just make our way through about there and see what goes on. We keep stopping because we keep hearing things. Keep hearing the man's voice. Sam's just heard a squeak. It's the same voice I heard before. When we first came in, we heard voices yeah. in this area. This bit's high on I think we go down there. Yeah. Go back right and then we'll do some calling out. Yeah. Let's see how we go. So we're just setting up, uh, locking off Simon's infrared night vision camera. See if we can get anything on there, see if anything happens in this place. But this is the last port of call for us doing an investigation. I know we've got the road, but when we first came in, this is basically where things were happening. You can do the call now. Yeah. So I call out to any spirits here present. Uh, do not to communicate with us in any way possible. You can maybe knock on something to throw something. Uh, those of these plastic pots on the floor you can use with a vent to uh, rattle around like you did before. So, in kind of communication. You were, please don't be No, that was a voice. 
Was it? That was boys. That was fucking boys. Holy shit. Seriously. Oh fuck yeah. No, that was voice. Was it? That was voice. That was a fucking voice. Holy shit. Seriously? Oh, fuck yeah. I didn't hear a thing. That was a voice. I was just sort of... That shit sent fucking goosebumps up and oh, down yeah. me. That was a proper full voice. Can you do that again? Man? Was it a man's voice? Female voice, isn't it? That was female. That's what I was female voice. Oh, that really got me. Jesus Christ. No, didn't hear a Scooby Doo though, that one. Oh, I hope it won the camera's gone. Yeah. I don't gel with the. Oh, I'm out of shot. I don't gel with the apps very often. But we're doing necrophonics while we're here. See if anyone comes through. Right, hello. Oh, spookies, come forward and speak to us. Say hello on this device. Can you... Who's here? He's here. How many fingers? Let's do the, the classic. What's his name? What was that? What's his name? I don't like that. Can you tell me this man's name? Can you communicate with us clearly through this device? What was this place? What did it make? Oh God, that's grim. I keep hearing mum through it. Oh. This is going on and on and on. There's nothing that's definitive, it's just weird. Yeah, that was really odd. That is weird. A couple of things at the beginning, but not much else. Um, that's my EMF detector. Ooh, that's a big spike. That's red. Could Whoa. This? Yeah, no, that might have been that. Yeah. See if Vox gets anything, that will come on yeah. now and do Vox. Yeah, there it goes. See if we get anything through Vox. Yeah, Use this device in my left hand. I don't really gel with these very much. It's got a bank of words, about 500 words in it. You can choose any word you want. And you can display it in this, this screen, this device. We won't have this on for long, only for a minute. Is that cable? It's moving. Ah, it's gone with wind. That was wind. Yeah. Okay. Moving. Slowly. 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 Sorry, doesn't make doesn't mean anything. anything to us. I apologise. Can you choose another word? I'll give you another minute to choose another word.
No, not going the other. That's you know, voice was weird. Well, that, well, that's that the camera. That was clear. If it's audible, sometimes it doesn't get picked up on there. Um, so, last attempt, saloon. We're going soon. Can you give us something? What? Can you give us some sort of indication you're here? Can you talk to us again? One, two, three. Yeah. Do you not hear that then? No. Oh. Oh. again. Can you please bang on some it? Kick something, throw something, scratch one of us. Scratches on our arms. We've both got short sleeve arms. Yep. Scratches on our arms. There's nothing on our arms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just checking. Nothing on our arms. Oh well. Seems to have gone quiet now. Can you not move one of these plastic pots on the floor? Good place to visit, it's nice, uh, there's plenty to see, uh, but that's about it with this one. Teapot wise, um, it's hard, I'd probably shoot for two. So we're not had anything definitive, there's been odd goings on, but the other thing we had was that pot moving over there, which I call in the auto shop all the things like that, but nothing massive. No voice. Something's just bloody. So we got you. Scratch it. Oh, feels like it's getting warm. Got me on the other one. Smell like that. Fuck. You've got a scratch. You have got a scratch. Seriously, where? On your, on your arm. There. There we go. Oh, can you see that? You've got a scratch. That wasn't there a minute ago. Oh my god. Um. Are you kidding me? No bloody way. No. No, Gordon. No, 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 no. It's going red. It's going red. to point out that Gordon doesn't have any nails, by the way. No, I've got no nails. Not, any, not, a, not, not a significance I could do that. It's actually going red. Well, we got just, have we just got our first that's five? That's never, that's not really happened, has it? That's just happened. We're stood here. What? We're stood here. What was it doing? We literally just looked at our arms. We just looked at our arms. We were about to sign off and, and say, right, we're going. And I thought, well, that feels a bit sharp. Get lost. Have you got anything? Um, I've not noticed anything. I've got it's nothing else. It's like a. No. That's as fresh as a daisy. Holy crap. My actual arm has gone red on the top around here. Five. <laughs> you can celebrate all you want, but I'm now wanting to go. We've got T5. Holy moly. I couldn't have just called that. We haven't been anywhere climbing or anything. Well, not anything that could cause that. You've not bumped into it, things you'd notice. Okay, well, so. Well, I've been scratched. You've just been scratched. 
Well, we asked him to. What the hell was that? You see something there? No, but I thought it was something moving. I'm more bothered about the bloody arm. Well, everybody, as we were just saying, Teapot 2, um, we've jumped a couple. Teapot 5? Well, okay. I thought it was strange. You cannot. That'd be you. Scratch Simon. You scratch me? Yeah, you get stung by nettles, you're like constant tingling. You got that. That's now. what I've got. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's, a, that's a first for Ghost TV. I feel a bit uncomfortable now. That's, that's, that's worse for us. Right. Okay. Right, I think we need to. Yeah, let's skedaddle. Let's, let's skedaddle. On that note, yeah. we've done enough. It's getting late, we're tired. You've seen that live. Just as we're finishing. Just as we're Right, so anything else you want to do, by all means do so. But if you want to touch any of us, then um, this is the guys up for it now. <laughs> Because that's kind of giving me the eebie jeebies. <laughs> you scared uh, me. Right, yeah. Thanks for like. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Can't even get right. Uh, and until next time, we will see you on the other side. On the other side. That is proper dodgy. Gotta get out of here now. That is proper dodgy. Okay. If you take in the pot moving, the voices, and the scratching, then you'd have to say, yeah, there goes a teapot five. And that could be our first teapot five, which is the highest rating that we can give somewhere. It was only a matter of time. But I don't remember scratching myself, catching myself anywhere else. My clothes You've aren't ripped anything. or anything. So yeah, this potentially could be our first teapot five. And I'm still feeling a bit freaked out about it. Things being moved. <laughs> Endless amounts of shuffling and, um, and walking and to top it off. You're being scratched as we're being as we're signing off. It's yeah. I'm down with teapot five you know we weren't really sure we were going to give it give it a two at the most because we had nothing refutable nothing to that we asked for but we asked to be scratched right at the end and you got it so middleton uh, <laughs> middleton mill you, you you've delivered and thank you thank you for having us